Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on a set of 18L24s. These are a new tire that just came out from D&D Patty Tire. They're up in Michigan. Um, these things are nasty. Um, I'm just gonna take a minute to show you what we're doing on these. And these are gonna be cut for a mega truck. Um, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a, a mild cut. We're still gonna take them down to the cords. We're gonna get as much weight as we can off of these, but we're not gonna do anything uh, with the sidewall. So we kept this ring up nice and tight to the bottom of the lugs so that we can um, leave some meat here on the sidewall. We're gonna leave a little bit of meat here as we blend this in, um, but we're still gonna take quite a bit of meat out and we're gonna cut and scoop the lugs like we normally do. We're not gonna do a back step or modify the lugs anyway like that, um, just because these are gonna be for a mega truck. He's gonna be bogging these things. Um, so we still, wanna, we still wanna leave some of that integrity, but uh, when we get into doing the side-by-side -side tires, uh, we'll definitely back step them and stuff like that, but we wanted to play it on the safe side, being this is gonna be on a full-size truck. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the process as we go through to cut these. Um, I'm gonna show you each step along the way and I'll show you the finished product and I'll let you know how much weight we actually took off of these things. It's gonna be a lot, that's for sure. So these measure about 51 inches. That's uh, with about 40 PSI air in them. Um, they're rated right at about 51, maybe just a hair over 51 inches tall. That's on a 15 inch wide wheel. And the lugs, from the very tallest point, the lugs measure about five inches. In the center, the lugs are just under four inches tall. So, and the, the tire itself, from the outside of the lug to the outside of the lug, is 18 inches. So these are definitely some beefy tractor tires for sure. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to mark out this scoop. So I'm using a chalk marker. Um, I'm just going to mark it out like this. I hold my finger there. We're going to leave about three quarters of an inch uh, for our scoop. That's how I mark them out. Nothing fancy. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this meat out of the center of here. So we will uh, take the Groover. I have multiple Groover set up. I'm gonna take the Groover. I have my blade set down about an inch. I'm going to use that. I'm going to clean this center part out. So that'll be step one. I'll also clean this radius out. So I'm going to square this radius as I take that out. And I'm going to clean that out. Gives it just squares that bottom of that lug off. And then I'm also going to take that same radius. I'm going to square that up on the back. So um, that'll all be in the first step. The next step, after I cut all this meat out, the next step's gonna be um, starting here at the back of the lug and I'll make a pass. I'll just basically start here, make a pass. I'm gonna work my way this way, take a pass. I'm gonna clean this all out. Now there's over an inch. There's probably about an inch and an eighth of rubber in this section here. So I could do it all in one pass, but it tends to bend the blades and it just tears the blades up. So I've come up with a better method. What I do it takes a little longer, but I basically make two passes. So I'm gonna set my blade about five eighths of an inch deep. As I do this first pass, I'm gonna find the cords up here in the last inch and a half to two inches, which is fine. So after I clean that all out, I'm gonna find the cords up here. Cords up here are about a half inch to five eighths of an inch deep. And then I'm gonna make another pass and take this down to the cords. I'm gonna feather this out so there's gonna be some meat left here. 
and then it's going to be feathered from there, from the cords up. So um, we're going to take a lot of meat off by doing that. So that would be the second step, step two, and then step three is going to be um, scooping these lugs out. Basically I have another groover, I have the, the blade set about three eighths of an inch deep. I'm going to use that to make my scoop. I'm going to bring it around. Um, first cut is going to be up here at the top. Cut that around here. Make another cut down here. And I'll just work my way to the bottom and then I'll clean that bottom part out. And then my final step, if you look here, it's real tight in here. So I have a, a half inch wide blade that I have it set all the way down so it's about an inch and a quarter deep that I'll use to squeeze in between and clean that little bit of meat out. And I'll do the same here. This will all come out and uh, I'll run that blade through here. So once it's all done, this will be cut all the way down, all the way through here. So that's going to let, it's going to give the tire some flex. So, um, and that's going to be step four. And then we'll just go to the next section. So as I do it, um, I have three groovers set up here that I'm using. Just with different blade. I have uh, two with one inch blades. One for the casing, one, one, one inch another river with one inch blade for the lugs and then I have a half inch for here. That's the first part of it. Second part's taking this radius out. Basically want to keep it as flush with the top of the casing as you can. This is step two. I have my blade set about five eighths of an inch deep. So pretty much what I'm working with here. So, like I said, I'm gonna be right up at the cords here. Five, five eighths of an inch deep here. So that's my first pass. And then I'm gonna keep working my way here and then I'll make my second pass. Right, this is the second pass. Now you really want to keep your gun parallel with the casing. So obviously it's gonna change, the shape changes. So you wanna try to keep your gun, you don't wanna have it tilted because it's gonna to wanna to cut into the cord. So you, as the shape changes, you need to follow that shape. So that's basically what our second pass is going to be. Get down to the cords and then we just ride the cords up. Just like that.
Now, this first pass right here, we didn't get all the way down. So I, I like to go back and just clean that off. Just like that. Right here, I take and I take this little bit of meat out. This gives it a nice finished off look. Same thing I do here. Just cut that flush with the lug. Cut any little extra out. Now this will all get cut out with that half inch. Same with this. This little bit doesn't really matter. It'll get cleaned up when we do our next step. The last thing I do is I clean that little bit of meat up right there. Because you're going to see that and that's going to be finished. So here's a closer view. Like I said before, we're going to leave a little bit of meat here. So we left some meat from here to here. We feathered it out. So this pass was a half inch pass. We did uh, all four of the tires at the same time when we when I first started and had my Groover set. So I did all these four at the same time. But I just wanted to give you a better view of what we're looking at here. Now. Some of this I'll go back and clean up some, like where some of my cuts are, I'll clean that up some, but that's basically what we got. It's all the way to the cords. Now, if you see this here, it looks like a little bulge. I don't know what it's called, but all the tires that I cut, doesn't matter if they're super swampers, tractor tires, sand powder, doesn't matter. You'll always find this. It's like an extra little layer of cords that's bumped up on the top. Sometimes it'll be even a half inch wide. You just got to kind of adapt. And um, when you find it, you kind of have to adjust as you're cutting. When you find it, instead of cutting right through it, you got to kind of just bump over it like a little speed bump, finish your cut. But all the t all tires I do have this and it will run through the whole entire tire. So it's literally going to run through here. It's going to run through here. Sometimes you'll find it on the other side. So just something to look out for. It's not a big deal. That's just how they're made. Now I'm going to go. This is part of this step. I'm going to go and clean the back of this up just because I don't like how this has a step here. So I'm basically just gonna let my gun rest down on the, the tire, down on the cords. And I'm basically flush cutting the back of this. So I'll make that first pass. Make this second pass. Try to blend it around. And then I'll take and make my last pass. Just to clean that up. It just gives it a nice little flush look on the back. Okay, so this is the other gun I have set up with the one inch blade. I have it about three eighths, maybe a little more than three eighths of an inch deep. That's gonna be for the scoop. I'm gonna start at my line. I have my Groover set on or high. I'm going to engage it, let it heat up, let it sink down in. I'm going to fold that line all the way around. I'm 
we get right to the edge. That will be my first cut. So my second cut is gonna be from the top of here, straight down. As you get to the bottom, you don't wanna run and run your blade into this, because it's is obviously the cords, that sharp edge of that blade will cut into that. So I stop just the hair short. And you can turn your heat down for this pass if you want to, but if you're quick enough, um, you don't have to. So I'm gonna leave it on the same heat setting. Do all these passes like that. Got this bottom little bit here. Taking and just cleaning that out nice and nice and smooth with the bottom of the casing. that if you get like a little thing like this you can always go back and clean that off if you want I always do so now you're left you got to make these three passes so not rocket science you just cut these three passes out Now there are different ways you can cut these. This is just my method. Now that last one, you can't get all the way in there. So get as far as you can and stop. Same thing, you can't get all the way here. So I cut that out and then I come back, clean that out. And that's it for that step. That's what we got so far. Now I'm gonna clean that meat out of there. So I'm gonna grab this groover. Got a half inch blade. I have it sticking out all the way. So obviously it's a little warped because it's uh, gets some heat on it being uh, this far out, but it's okay. I've this is actually, this is the fourth tire and I haven't changed this blade. So this has actually been lasting a while. Basically just gonna go right here, start right here. Clean that out. Come up against the uh, end of the lug, I'm gonna clean that out. That little piece in here that I couldn't get on this pass, I'm just gonna take this groover, side of this blade, and I'm gonna clean that right out. So then I'll just take and make some nice clean lines in here. Do the same thing here. Can't really get it in all the way, so you just gotta kinda do your best. Sometimes you just have to lean it back so that as you lean it back, the blade gets in there. And that's that. So now we finished one section. I walked you through all the steps. I'm gonna take some time-lapse videos as I go around the tire and that's basically what it takes. So uh, it's definitely a lot of work. I have eight hours plus um, on a tire like this. So watch as I go through, cut all the sections, I'll flip it around, I'll cut the back the same way, 
and I'll show you the finished, pro finished product when I get done. So I just finished up the first side, flipping it around, I'm going to work on the second side. So we just finished up these 18L24s. We took uh, an average of 70 pounds per tire off. Um, there's a lot of meat on these suckers. About an inch and, a, inch and an eighth right in this area. Um, so what we did, as we showed in the video, we took two passes. There was a ton of work, but they, they came out really nice. Um, 70 pounds of rotating mass per corner is definitely a lot. He's definitely gonna notice the difference and uh, going to free up a lot of wasted horsepower. So uh, we're excited to get these back on the truck. And I just wanted to show you guys something um, I just started doing in the last few weeks. So I started branding my logo. Um, I have a brand with my logo with a heated tire branding iron. And I brand my logo on the side of the tires. Um, just kind of my stamp of approval. There, size matters off road. Thanks, guys, for watching our videos. Be sure to check out all our other videos. Uh, we have some awesome new content coming up. We've got some crazy big tires, a uh, little bit different than we've done before. Um, going to be some crazy stuff so you guys definitely want to stay tuned um, we have a lot of awesome things planned for the channel so make sure you like subscribe and if you guys need any groover blades any groovers any custom modified groover heads anything like that uh, be sure to get a hold of us on our facebook or our instagram you can give us a call um, We'd be happy to help you guys out. We have everything you guys need. We have a lot of stuff in stock. We have some groovers in stock. We have some heads, blades. So whatever you need, let us know. We'll be sure to get it out to you. Uh, we're usually a few days out if we have it in stock. Uh, if not, we get it you know, pretty quick and we'll get it out to you. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you soon.